And for my next trick, I will make a cat appear. Do I still know how to make a collection of mugs and plates and plant pots entertaining? Have I ever really known how to make anything entertaining? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How's it going? Hope you're all doing really well. Feels really old school to say that. I feel like that was just the voice of a past life that came out of my throat. <laughs> Something that's a little bit different, but also very warm and familiar today. We're treading old ground and I'm doing a little bit of a haul video. Obviously I used to film haul videos pretty often, whether it was clothing or stuff. I used to show you a lot of stuff. This channel was mostly based on stuff, um, but these days I don't really like buy lots of things at once anymore. Um, a, because I'm trying to, you know, be a grown up and save some money in this world, be a little bit more frugal, a little bit more selective of what I buy, um, and generally try and consume less. Uh, I say that surrounded by things, hence this video to justify buying them all. But actually I can fully blame this little mini homeware haul on you guys. So I hope that's okay. Because this actually all started with a vase. It's like the beginning of some kind of beautiful Shakespeare classic. It all started with a vase. The vase in question is this vase. And when I say I've never been sent one item so many times, <laughs> Apparently this vase just screams Lucy Wood's bedroom. I don't know whether there's some kind of conspiracy going on. A lot of people wanted me to buy this vase, so who am I to argue because it's very lovely and it does in fact suit our bedroom perfectly. It was like opening the floodgates. As soon as I allowed myself to go online and purchase this, my shopping basket was suddenly very full. Life comes at you real fast, especially when shopping for homeware. So for the first time in ages, I thought it was the perfect excuse to film a little sit down chatty haul video, show you all the really lovely little bargains that I picked up from Matalan. And then also, seeing as I'm here, you know, seeing as we've got the camera rolling, I thought I would also tag on the few little bits that I picked up in the Shop Disney sale as well. I know that won't be everyone's cup of tea, but I do have a little bubble of kind of like Disney gang on this channel now from my Florida vlogs. So I thought you guys might like to see those too. I'll whiz through those to start with. So the kind of Disney that I love, we don't have a lot of Disney stuff. Um, a couple of little bits dotted like here and there from when we went on holiday and stuff, but they know how to get you, don't they? They sent me an email about the sale. And as soon as I see that, if I'm working at my desk, I just think, well, I'll have a little click. The part of Disney that I love is like the vintagey kind of, nostalgia inspired and I like any kind of Disney that's got a bit of like a vintage 80s 90s hint to it um because that kind of matches everything else that I love so as soon as I spotted this mug in the sale I mean it was a done deal really it's got the big cheese on the front Mickey Mouse it's like a really lovely kind of raised detail mug um it says official mouseketeer on it and then on the back there's a little pair of Mickey Mouse ears as well it's a really good size it's dishwasher safe which is something that we all have to consider now that we're very old and boring. And I just thought this was super cute. This is like exactly the kind of era and vibe of Disney that I really enjoy. Um, it reminds me of like Brittany and Christina, Mouseketeer time. That was right up my street and I couldn't resist that one. Um, and then you know how it goes. Once you put one thing in your basket, you're like, well, I might as well strive for free delivery. So the other one that I grabbed was this Toy Story mug. Toy Story is one of my absolute faves. And I really loved this little monochrome mug. It says made in the 90s. So perfect for this household. And then it's just got all your faves from the original gang. We've got Buzz, Woody, Ham, Jesse, Rex, the aliens, Slinky, and another little bonus alien. I love the kind of like style of design of this one. It's almost like a little bit of like a sketchy, first animation kind of style. I just thought it was really cool and I really like this kind of muted bluey grey colour that's going on as well. I feel like it really highlights two sides of my personality <laughs> where like one day I'll wake up and I'm like oh in my life I'm only going to have a matching set of beautiful earthy anthropology mugs and I'm going to put them all out on display and they're all going to match and it's going to be a beautiful set that's really going to look like I've got my life together and then the reality is that I end up on Shop Disney and buy these two in the sale. <laughs> Very exciting for any fellow stationery fans out there. I also picked up a notebook, a crisp clean brand new notebook 
which yes, I really have the fear of writing on the first page of this. I haven't decided what this is going to be for yet because obviously it's quite a special, lovely one. I'll have to write some kind of genius memoirs in this. This is just a little lined notebook from the Ink and Paint collection, which was pretty much like my ideal Disney kind of design. It's all about the very kind of old school cartoon animation, which is what I really enjoy. Um, so it's got all your faves on there. We've got Fantasia Mickey, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, you know, all the old legends. Legends only on this notepad. It's almost like a kind of canvassy fabric cover, which I think is really lovely. It's got like a really lovely texture to it. I just thought this was really cute. If you're a fan of old school Disney, you'll probably really love this collection. And last but not least from Disney, before we whiz over to Matalan, um, I'm just gonna put this out there. I have found the perfect picnic bag. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's this lovely tote bag, which is covered in all the different classic Mickey Mouses. It's kind of like Mickey through the ages, which I really love. And I picked this up thinking it was just like a normal tote bag. Basically, this is a lesson that I should read the description of stuff before I buy them, because I keep getting surprised when stuff arrives. <laughs> kind of just popped this in my basket as like a bit of a random additional tote bag, just thinking like, oh, a girl can never have too many tote bags. But actually I was very pleasantly surprised when this arrives because if you can't tell, it's actually pretty massive. Um, and rather than just being like tote material, it's really lovely like wipe down waterproof style material. It's honestly great. It's got like a little bit of padding to it in the wall. So it's perfect for loading up with like picnic goodies. Really, really good size, lovely little structure going on. And then it's also got these like big chunky wide straps to it. So you can fill it with like slightly heavy picnic foods. I'm absolutely chuffed with this. I think it's such a useful little summer bag. If you had kids in particular, this would be great for like kids days out. You fancy a big Mickey Mouse bag for your days out through the summer? This would be great. Also a really good beach bag. Okay, so they are the Disney bits. Now I'm gonna get stuck in with Matalan. So the first thing, obviously I gave you a little sneak peek of this before. The thing that kicked off this entire purchase was the vase that I have literally been flooded with messages about, which I think is so great. Like half of the stuff that I've done to this house and bought for this house has been because of comments and messages that I've had from you guys. So I really appreciate it. And this is no exception. So obviously this is gonna be perfect to sit in our bedroom. It's lovely and weighty. It's really lovely quality. Even like the inside is painted this lovely terracotta shade. And it's just like the perfect color mix for this room. We've got this lovely like red terracotta-ish kind of color. Nice like muted yellow handle. And then this kind of like kind of sketchy florally illustration in lovely muted greens. It's just really, really pretty. I haven't quite decided where this is gonna go, but, um, um, you know there's probably gonna be some pampas grass or dried flowers in it somewhere and it'll look really cute. Let's do, let's do cushions next. I think they're probably the most exciting. We're all partial to a cushion. Actually, yeah, this makes sense because this kind of matches the vase. So I also spotted this little cushion that was on the website, which is this beautiful, like woven textured cushion. Um, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot, but I think it works. I think it's really nice. It's the same kind of color palette as the vase. It's like mustard, terracotta, and a little bit of like sage green in there, which just works perfectly for our bedroom. It's so ideal. I love these kind of like big tufty bits going on. There's a couple of little tassels here. And I just thought this looked quite expensive. I thought this kind of looked maybe a little bit like anthropology-ish. And then alongside this one, I mean, I probably should have thought this out slightly better, but I just couldn't resist it. I think it's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. The other cushion that I bought is this little shell-shaped one. Um, and I couldn't resist this because on a lot of the interiors accounts that I follow, I've seen something quite similar to this in a couple of other different colors. Um, followed the links through to grab one for myself and found that they're like 80 quid. If you think I'm paying 80 quid for a shell cushion, seeing that Matalan had like a bargain alternative, I thought I would just grab it, kind of see how I felt about it. And then maybe if I end up loving this style of cushion and feel like it's like a lovely focal part of any kind of room, then maybe I could stick the expensive one on my Christmas list or something. It's this lovely kind of pearlescent pale pink kind of color, which doesn't technically match anything in this house. Why did I buy this? But I mean, it's just so flipping cute, isn't it? Look at that. And it doesn't look totally out of place with like the peachy white mustard kind of colors. Could I try and stick more colors in this room that probably don't even go together? I need to calm down. Okay, this next thing, I'm gonna show you this and you're gonna say, 
it finally happened. She's finally lost the plot. I thought it happened a long time ago, but no, it must have recently happened because she's bought the most bizarre, the most bizarre item ever made. So here we have a vase, which on reflection looks quite a lot like the cheese string man. <laughs> real appealable trees. In in reality, this is actually a planter. <laughs> and when I say that, I feel like that makes it slightly less ridiculous. It's actually an outdoor planter. And this was another lovely surprise in terms of quality because I picked this up thinking that it was almost like a rattan kind of effect material in this like bright orange color. Um, but it's actually like, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but it's actually like, it's made of like, I don't know, plaster, something hard. So it's actually quite heavy. It's lovely and sturdy. Um, and I'm trying to kind of spruce up our little outdoor patio area. We've bought some really nice patio furniture. Um, so I'm now trying to make it a little bit of a cooler space. I wanna get some fairy lights. I wanna get some little like garden shelves. And I just thought this would be really cool if I can get some like nice big fake leaves coming out of it or something. Obviously you can just like slot your stems in there and it can be a really nice cool, statement desert inspired planter cheese string planter Matalan had a lot of really nice plant pot options actually the other one that i also couldn't resist i'm just gonna take the sticker off the other one that i just couldn't resist was this one i thought this was so cute so this was listed as an outdoor pot oh it was only eight pounds wow that was a bargain but it's just this lovely it's a really good size actually little plant pot it says aloha in lovely little bright colors um and I just thought it was really cute. I also love, it's got a hole at the bottom so you can actually put your plant straight in so it can drain properly. Exciting conversations around here. And this actually ties in with something else that I bought as well because I had a bit of a vision for this. I was thinking, how cute would this look with like lovely bright fake flowers coming out of it? If I could get some lovely fake, but you know, good quality fake flowers, um, particularly sunflowers. What did I find on Matalan? some very lovely fake sunflowers. Um, however, didn't read the product description, did I? Absolute doofus. Um, because these arrived in this glass vase and they're like resined into the bottom. Like I can swing this around and it's not going anywhere. So I said to Adam like, oh, I didn't realize these were stuck in here, but oh, actually it's fine. I'll just do a controlled smash and break them out of the glass. And Adam was like, please don't do that, that's not gonna end well. So he's kind of made me chicken out of it a bit and actually I've just put these in the living room now because they, from a distance, with, with all fake flowers, like from a distance, they look really, really lovely. I've just had them like sitting in the windowsill and they look so pretty, they're such like a lovely pop of colour and they do look pretty real from a distance. Who can really say that they look great up close, am I right ladies, from a distance? It's fine, up close, not so much. Take a step back there, my friend. But if anyone does have any genius ideas for how I could potentially pull these out of some very tough resin and put them in my cheese string, let me know. And last but not least, I feel like this has been quite a summery selection actually, and these are definitely summery as well. So I picked up a little bowl and like a serving plate in this really lovely, like bright, very yellow, little lemon print. Holding this up, it does look like a little sombrero, but I promise it's actually like a little, I promise it's actually like a little pop your dip in the middle, put your Doritos around the edge type scenario. Just thought these would be really, really nice for when friends pop over for a barbecue or whatever over the summer. Um, it's always nice to have little special bits to bring out, isn't it? I really love the kind of detail and effect on these. I love the kind of illustration style of the lemons. It says, hello sunshine in this cute little calligraphy font. And I just think they're perfect for a little bit of summer evening. I can't wait to like put them out and have little nibbles. I'm all about a plate full of nibbles, let me tell you. Oh, there's something else as well, which I completely forgot about because it's hanging off the ceiling. While browsing Matalan, I also finally, after six months, nearly seven, found a lampshade for the living room. I genuinely like couldn't believe it when I found it. I've been so fussy about lampshades for some reason. It is just the thing that I cannot get right. I cannot find lampshades that I like. It's like a mustardy gold sunshine yellow colour. Um, just very plain but really kind of suits our living room. It's like a velvety material and I just think it's great. I was absolutely chuffed with it and best of all it was so easy to fit. So I hope you guys are all good. Nice to have a little catch up. Thanks so much for watching 
and uh, sorry I'm not uploading that much. I'm working on a little side project at the moment, which I'm hoping in a couple of weeks I'll be able to tell you about. But if you're, if you're missing my content, um, I'm much more active over on Instagram at the moment. So if you want to follow me over there, it's at Lucy Jane Wood. And I think that's all I've got to say for today, except I've got a hair in my mouth. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye. Mwah.